basically a person giving a speech about something that was important to them in their life that they think other people should know about. And the length of a TED Talk is anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, which in word count terms is anywhere from 1,000 words to 2,000 words, which is not very many words. Uh, um, 1,000 words is approximately four double-spaced pages of text. So if you think about a paper you might write for your class, if it's four pages long, that's the length of a TED Talk. So it's a pretty condensed uh, amount of time that you have to communicate your idea. There are three parts to a TED Talk. The first part is the challenge. What problem are you trying to solve and what goal are you trying to achieve? The second part is the choice. Why did you take on this challenge, right? Why is this a problem? Uh, why are you trying to achieve this goal? And the third part is the outcome, right? What have you learned? What have you felt as a result of solving this problem achieving this goal. How do we choose speakers for TEDx Toronto? What we do look for is what we sort of shorthand call ideas worth spreading. So that's sort of the tagline for TED. Um, but what it means is we look for people who have a really good idea in their community. And, it's, and we think that idea could benefit by being spread to other communities. First of all, you have to have an idea. Okay, that's step number one, so gotta have an idea. Second is the idea has to be validated by your community, which means other people, at least some other people have to think it's a good idea, right? So it can't just be you. That's the second criteria. The third criteria is that you have to have some sort of standing or authority to speak about that idea to other people, which usually means it just has to be your idea. Right, so if I, if I, Chris, read in a textbook of an idea for fixing climate change, I'm not the person to give a TED talk about that idea. The person who wrote the textbook is the person to give the TED talk about that idea. Right, so that's the third criteria. And the fourth criteria is the idea has to make the world better. So TED is not the state, it's not the place to talk about your business plan um, or your company or anything like this. It's about lifting up other people in the world. And so in some way, that's what your idea has to do. Um, so those are the four like technical requirements. But in practical terms, what you need to do to be a TED speaker is you need to figure out what work you can do to help other people. So think about what's happening in your life that you can, uh, that you're doing that will make other people's lives better, right? Then just go and do that work as best as you can, as hard as you can. So just go out and make a difference in your community as big as you can. And then just trust that the TED stage will find you because the people at TED are actively looking for those people. Um, so an example of this might be Anu, your teacher here, right? So the difference that she can make in the world or one of the differences is to like work in this group, right? Teach this class, supervise the program, support all of you. And so that's something that she's doing in her community, working very hard at. Uh, and making the world better. And an excellent TED talk might be if Anu wanted to speak about this so that other communities could see this model and take it into their communities. So that might be an example uh, of somebody of a, of a good TED talk uh, or how it works, like what kind of work you need to be doing if you do want to get on the TED stage.